everyone. Robin from Backscatter here with my good friend, Hergen from Nauticam. How's it going? It's going all right, man. So today we're taking a look at installing the Red Weapon camera body in the Nauticam DSMC2 housing, specifically with the N120 to N200 port adapter for cinema PL lenses. Hergen, what can you tell us here? Well, I can tell you that this camera costs as much as my truck, so we're <laughs> gonna be really careful doing this. That's, Sounds good. That's the first step, how about that? Um, as Robin mentioned, um, we're gonna be installing the Red Weapon here in our Nauticam housing for the DSMC2 uh, Red Bodies. A um, Couple things I wanna point out uh, before we start with the process. Again, we're gonna be doing it with our N120 to N200 adapter. So there's a couple things we need to do first uh, to prepare the body before we do the install. Um, and that's in order to allow us to install that uh, PL lens once it is in the camera. Um, so what we've done, the PL lens, uh, the PL mount on the red camera um, has this lock-in collar. And in order to be able to use that lock-in collar uh, once the camera is in the housing um, through the N120 port adapter or N200 port adapter, we had to remove one of the feet. You can see it here. We've removed one of the feet mm -hmm. and we've replaced it with an extended foot. It's really simple. Two small torque screws, take them out, put the new extension on, good to go. So not tools free, but super simple. Not tools free, but super simple. Cool. Right? Okay. Um, we've also already mounted the cage on the top of the housing and we've also Ooh. mounted uh, the Limo adapter. Um, so this Limo adapter is what's going to be talking to the uh, Red Touch 7 monitor that we have here. So we're not using an SDI connection, we're using the, uh, the Limo functionality there. When we connect the plate to the top here, we're just using this Allen key that lives within the plates, just those four Allen screws, right? Allen key lives right on the top. It's cool. held in by magnets, so it doesn't just slide out. Okay. And super easy to take in and out. Cool, cool. Okay. okay. So let's turn our housing around here. Mm -hmm. And basically, we've just got our like standard Nauticam latches holding it on here, right? Absolutely. So we just push those in, flip up the levers, off comes the back plate. I'll take that for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and again, so this cage is mounted on the top of the housing. Uh, mm -hmm. Most people are more familiar with that cage being on the bottom, but we've got it mounted on the top. So we've got that cable that's going to be going to the Limo connection. We're just going to take our body, move that out of the way a little bit, slide it in the top. Lock it in, and we're going to plug in our cable here. All right, we're all set there. Okay. Um, we can mount our batteries, which I left off camera. Let's find those. They're right over there. Hey, look, I found some batteries. Awesome, thanks. <laughs> it's wondering why I put those. <laughs> um, and these V-mount batteries, again, just simple, slide right in. For such expensive and like, you know, rather large gear for underwater camera system seems pretty easy. Yeah, you, you, you almost feel like you didn't do enough when you're done. Like you should, there should be more steps, but you know, we keep it simple. Um, so again, if you're using that vacuum system, just turn on the vacuum system and we'd be good to go for that, but we're just gonna leave that off for now. Back plate just sits right on, push the levers down, good to go. All right, so we're ready to install our N120 to N200 port adapter. And the reason we need that is the cinema lenses are a little bit wider diameter, so they don't fit through that N120 opening, right? So we use this adapter, and so we have to install the lens after we've installed the adapter. Okay. So because of this added functionality, we need to make sure a couple things are set before we mount this adapter. Um, because it does actually actuate the, the PL lens release on the collar, mm -hmm. um, we need to make sure that this is positioned properly and also positioned properly inside okay. the port adapter. Um, so you can see it slides between lock and release, we just need to make sure that's set all the way to release. And then we also do have the gear over here um, that's going to adjust focus with this knob. So we just need to make sure we set that out of the way so it doesn't interfere when we put the lens in. Okay. So I think we're ready to go. We've got this set. As with all the other Nauticam ports, we just push down the gray lever and push down the red lever. And there we go. Sweet. It's open. Super so easy. So if you want to hold that for me, we yeah. can go ahead and put this on there. We're just lining up the dots on yep. the top. Just lining like up normal. the dots on the top making sure that PL lens is set in the right place. Of course, if the O-ring is seated and everything's flush. And there we go. Cool. I like when this is on too, it gives you the extra grip up here to be able to operate that knob. That's yep. really cool. A little, little more flexibility there. Mm -hmm. So now we can go ahead and we can install our PL lens. Let's do so that. So again, we'll be using this lever right here. If we slide that over, it will release the lens cap or mm -hmm. the body cap. Okay. Take off the lens cap here. <clears throat> so, 
Go ahead and line everything up. Okay. And there we go. That's, That's all there. there is to it, huh? And then of course we'd be putting an N200 dome on the outside. Okay, nice. Or if we're not using the adapter in the PL lenses, just EF lens and an N120, right? Yep, you got it. Very cool. Uh, not too bad considering, you know, what this camera is really capable of. That seems, like you said, that seems like we're doing, you're not doing enough to get it set up, you know? It's almost not fair. Yeah, it's very simple. Awesome. Well, can't ask for more streamlined than that. Thanks, Hergen. Yep, you're welcome. Cool. It's really that easy. If you do have any more questions, just feel free to call us here at Backscatter. We're always happy to help.